Hey. Um, I really just wanted to make this video to discuss my plans on some future content. Uh, I want to do some gaming. I'd love to do some gaming. I really would. There's a lot of stuff I'd like to do. Um, I want to start vlogging on Schmoopy Thomas. I'm going to stop streaming on Schmoopy Thomas, but it's like... I want to give you guys a little bit of an update about mm -hmm. what I want to be doing on YouTube from now on until uh, I throw in the towel. I just, you know, I feel like the whole YouTube algorithm is, like, meant not to favor the small YouTubers. Like, ground and pound, pretty much. I mean, like, you'll just get beat up, beat up, beat up. And ate up, pretty much. You have to build your own fan base. That's how I got here. I mean, if it was at one point leaving a comment and trying to get a bunch of likes on it, then commenting on that comment a link to my YouTube channel. I mean, that's how I got probably, like, my first 20 subs. Uh, I also had other people do that, and, I mean, I'm not very proud of that, but, I mean, I wanted to build, build a reputation, start filming videos. Of course, back then... I was on this bad boy. This right here is what kicked off my YouTube career. I mean, this thing is pretty ancient. Got it from my sister. It was slightly before I had a phone. So I was on this for about a year. And let me tell you something. Camera quality sucked. Video quality sucked. I was, video, I was recording off Zoom. <laughs> I mean... Just as low as a YouTuber could get, I would say. But I built this on fan base. And one fan base I'm always going to be very proud of. Um, but it's like, I want to start giving you guys quality. Before it was quantity over quality, and I was just uploading and uploading. And YouTube was fun to me back then. I've kind of lost a taste for YouTube over the last couple months and it's been hard to try to get myself back into it but I plan on doing so. I mean having to balance out school and I plan on doing a very good job in that. I'm going to start taking my Twitch streams by the way www.twitch Snoopy underscore Thomas. Go leave a follow. Go join the stream if you want. I mean it's always a lot of fun there. Little, little, uh, probably streaming now or in a couple minutes, whenever this video is up, so just always be prepared. Um, what was I going to say? I do want to start making quality, and I'm glad I was able to build such a nice fan base off of literally the worst piece of electronic I've ever had. And it's been kind of crazy over the last couple of years. Years. I mean, I'm about to hit my two-year anniversary of my YouTube channel here in November. I mean, that is... That's crazy. Um, so, I mean, this is just kind of like an update. We're seven subs away from 100, which blows my mind away. And I'm just so, so happy. And I'm very deeply appreciative of all of you. But back to the YouTube for a hot second and we're probably gonna close things out. The YouTube algorithm, you have to make what's going like what's mainstream. If that's a reaction video, commentary channel, gaming will well, that's the hardest thing you need to blow up, but I mean join so I have a buddy of mine, uh Shinzu. Uh, you probably know him from the feature channels on the channel. Um he joined a Roblox group I think it was Murder Mystery 2, I think is the game. But he was in a group that was pretty popular, and he was able to build up his fan base by that and getting ed editing other people's videos and getting shoutouts. Which is absolutely genius, and that's going to build a name for yourself. He's currently sitting at around like 3,000 subs right now, I think. I mean, like, that is just so crazy to me that he was able to build up that much of a fan base doing actual hard work at editing is not easy, especially if you want quality edits. Uh, so, <sighs> so, I mean, you have to beat the algorithm. He beat the algorithm by being a part of such a popular group of YouTubers, and 
I... I'm gonna have to say, my only backbone, shall I say, was Johnny Frickin' R. That's his new YouTube channel name. It used to be Poop Slave. So, I'll refer to him as Poop Slave. Poop Slave, a lot of his fan base swapped over onto mine because Poop Slave's no longer active. And I'm like, oh my gosh, you know, I have such a wonderful viewers. I'm getting good comments, you know, keep up the good work, and I've just enjoyed YouTube. It's been a lot of fun, and now that I'm able to give you guys quality over my quantity back then, it's been really nice, and I'm so glad I can do that, and I'm so excited for future projects. I know. I want to do some bigger stuff, but in the upcoming months, I'm planning on getting my permit. Uh, then the next up would be driver's license, and then I'd be able to drive around the vlog and all that, get a job this summer, maybe. I'm really excited. <sighs> and YouTube's been more than gracious to me. And the fact that I'm seven subs away from the big hundo is pretty crazy. And I just like, I know I've made a thank you video, so I won't drown the sound with thank yous, but like genuinely thank you. Uh, YouTube was kind of a little weird for me at the beginning. I didn't really tell much people about it, and I kind of kept away from my parents, which wasn't a business move. <clears throat> but it's what I've wanted to do for a long time, and I'm glad I'm able to. And I'll bring any con type of content that you guys would like to see, whether it's a certain game. So I think that's just about it, and I hope you all have a solid day. And.